Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can also see this on YouTube as a video version on Take Your Life Back Today show on YouTube. That is the name of the channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Good morning, all. I want you to look at something right now this early morning. Think. Just think of some major goal you want, or maybe it's one... Uh, you're already working on and you have experienced a lot of uh, uh, defeats in your life, setbacks in your life. You've experienced a lot of disappointment in your life. Maybe you've already given up and maybe you just need a little fun, a little encouragement to get back into the game again. Well, let's, let's see if we can help you with that this morning. Here's what I want you to look at. There are winners in life and there are losers in life. And there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need in some uh, instances is coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support in life. All they need is some insight or different strategy or plan of action to make some adjustment. That's all uh, uh, that, that will uh, open up the key to the whole new future for them. That will give them access to unlimited power that they have within themselves, my friends. That's all that they need. That's all maybe what you need. So what I want you to do is to think about something you want for yourself that's real for you, that's important for you, that will give you your life some special meaning and some power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to, to assume that. I want you to th hear this. Six years ago, when I started out in this area of coaching, I would not have been able to make the mental leap that I would be up to where I am today. I don't want you to uh, begin to just psych yourself out. No. I want you to be able to say something uh, to yourself that will enable you to maintain a level of integrity with yourself. That when you say this, even when you face tremendous setbacks, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and, my friends, experimenting and readjusting your strategy and plan of action continuously looking for ways to improve basically I don't want you to ever give up so what is that something when you've got an idea you want to move on you might not have the money you might not have the education you might not have the support or maybe you might not even have the resources you need what is that something that can keep us going, that will enable us to act on our dream? What's one of those keys that will begin to help us to discover the secrets to our dream? Here's what I want you to repeat after uh, me, please, with uh, some power and some conviction. Say, it is possible. Everybody again, say it. It is possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's all what I want you to do when you look at your dream. Just say to yourself every day, it's possible for me to achieve that. Just say that every single day to yourself, it's possible. Because what does that do? See, my friends, it begins to change your belief system. So the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us each and every day. Wherever you've done, or I should say, whatever you've done up to this point, all that is really uh, a duplication, is a reproduction of what you believe subconsciously that you deserve and what's possible for you in your life to achieve. It's a duplication. Most people operate out of their personal history, out of their memory, things they've done, things they have experienced, things they have seen, and uh, things that they have observed. What I'm suggesting right now this morning, that you operate out of a larger vision of yourself. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do this morning, experience what you want to experience, and accomplishing what you want to accomplish, and having what you want to
to have doing uh, what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. Operate out of your imagination, not your mem memory. Because whatever you look at where you want to go, I wanted to warn you. You will have some conversation back here after you go through the data that you've experienced in life saying you can't do it. Because when you say you can't do it, you won't do it. If you say it's possible, it will happen. And so what you want to begin to do is ignore the inner conversation. Say to yourself, I can do it. Well, most people, ladies and gentlemen, when something happens to them, they uh, uh, what they do is they begin to believe that that's the way it is. They settle. That's the way it always has been, and that's the way it always will be. And and uh, uh, but you know, think about this here for a minute. Before April 1954, uh, the common belief, the universal belief, because it has uh, had been tried again and again and again, and people have failed. The belief was that man was not physically capable of breaking four-minute barrier that could not uh, 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 break that mile in less than four minutes. That was the belief on the planet. Think about that, 1954. It had never been done. But here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Roger Bannister came along and he broke that four-minute barrier. Now, here's what's significant about that because other people started saying it's possible. Since that time up to that, over 20,000 people have done it, including high school kids. What changed? 20,000 people. What changed? Here's what happened when they got on the track. They knew it had been done, and because they knew it subconsciously that it had been done, there was a new belief about this barrier, that they can do it. It is possible about this goal that was unreachable back in 1954. And those 20,000 people got in a race believing, knowing in their heart that someone had done it, and they can achieve the same thing. Subconsciously, they said it's possible. And I'm saying that if you know anyone that had some goals, some dream, something they wanted to do, and they did it, then they knew and know it's possible. Then I'm saying that you know in your heart that it's someone that has done it, then you can do it because you know it's possible. And that if someone can make a dream come a, real a reality, that it's possible that you can make your dream become reality as well because it's all here and in your heart. And so as you begin to look at where you want to go, beginning to embrace that it's possible to do, you will do it. I'm blessed and highly favored, you will say. I've got a lot going for myself, you will say. I got some good stuff in me, and it's possible that I can make and bring my greatness out here in this world. That I can do what I want to do. Because I am saying it's possible I can write my own books, which I have four. I can have my own business. I've had that before as well. I can take a trip and travel around the world, which I was able to do through the Marine Corps. But it's all possible because I believed it's possible. You will say I can bounce back from adversity and reinvent my life because it's possible. Regardless of where I am, things can get better for me. It's possible if you try, because I will say I never, ever gave up in my life. You can do that. Just say it's possible, it's possible. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger will change that stranger's life. And it can help your life. It's possible. And remember, through God, everything and anything is possible. But you have to believe subconsciously that everything is possible in your life. May God bless you, and we will talk to you guys real soon. Take good care of yourselves. See you tomorrow. God bless you.